Good Monday morning. I'm going to talk for a few minutes this morning about the cosmic battle that we face, but right now we're also facing a Facebook battle because Facebook is highly diminishing our Monday musings and their ability to be seen by you. So if you just share this, if it impacted you, that'll help us out a little bit. So we're going to talk about the wars we're waging right now. But when I was in college, a book came out by Frank Peretti called This Present Darkness. And then he had a sequel called Piercing the Darkness. I wish I could see a show of hands of how many of you read that. But it was the first time that any Christian writer had taken you as a reader into this unseen realm. And he actually showed you all the ways that this cosmic battle if you will, takes place between angels and demons and the power of our prayers. And it was just like, I couldn't read it when I was alone in the house and I didn't want to read it at night in the dark. But it was such this powerful book that any of you should go back out and get. But it reminds me what I've said to us before that so often we forget that we are not natural beings living in a spirit world. We are spirit beings living in a natural world. And there is this unseen realm at work all around us. Ephesians 6.12 is like the battle chapter uh, that Paul writes to the church at Ephesus. And he says this about the war that we face. He says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And boy, have we forgotten that in 2020? Have we seen a real war against each other? Division like I've never seen before in the church. Division among the races that have been different than feels deeper and more divisive than anything I've ever seen. And we feel like we're in this battle of each other. Even dinner tables are being separated and families are being waged war against because the enemy's relentless. And But we're not battling flesh and blood. We're battling principalities. There's a hierarchy here. Principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness in in of this world, rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the enemy is has basically smothered, smothered, and covered this world that we live in, and yet you and I often live as if our hearts don't live in a war zone, and it's simply not true. The enemy is after everything we hold of value. He's after our hearts. He's after our children. He's after our marriages. He's after our, the church of the living God. He's after our minds. He's after our resources. He's after every single thing that has value to us. The enemy wants to to take, to steal, and to kill. And so it's really important as we enter this new year that we realize that our hearts live in a war zone with a very real enemy because to live as if we think there's not an enemy out there is a very foolish way to live. But can I tell you the good news? The good news that we all need to remember, the good news of 1 John 4, 4, greater is He that is in us than even this ruler of the darkness of this world. There's no weapon the enemy can wield against your heart or my heart when we are in relationship with Jesus Christ that is greater than our Jesus to defeat him. I think we get confused often that the enemy, that Jesus is Satan's counterpart. No, 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 no. 
Jesus has no equal. He has no counterpart. He is the ruler of this world and at his death all authority was given to him. And so the enemy is working on borrowed time. But keep in the forefront of your mind this year. You are not a natural being living in a spirit world. You are a spirit being living in a natural world. And there is a cosmic battle, bigger and greater than all hundred episodes of Star Wars you have ever watched. But there is a Jesus in us far greater than any demonic force this world could ever hold. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.